We're here with Swanee head women's basketball coach Tom Campbell. Tom, it's your first year at Swanee as, as our head coach. Welcome, first of all. Thank you. Um, a first year right now, you're unbeaten, of course, you know. Absolutely. Um, but uh, Swanee comes back from a 9-17 and 17, nine and 17 year last year, 2-12 and 12 in the conference. You come over from, from center um, in, in 2007 prior to your arrival in center. Uh, the Colonels, they won 17 games in three years. And, and since then, they were 112 and 51. So a big turnaround. I know you were part of that that group. Um, hopefully, obviously, we, we hope we can kind of go in that same direction here. Um, but you go in with expectations, and, and you have only six upperclassmen returning, a host of freshmen coming in. You know, what are your expectations for this first year? Uh, we're working really hard right now to learn how to, to play hard every possession. Uh, work hard every day, do the little things, uh, and be great teammates. Um, part of when you implement a new philosophy and a new system is, is you've got to get the, the ground floor taken care of, the building blocks. And uh, for us, it's being great teammates, it's working hard, it's taking care of each other, doing little things, uh, sharing the ball. Um, those little things that we just stress constantly. And uh, so far, they're, they're working hard, the young leaders are working hard, they're making the effort. Uh, it's just, it takes time. Um, we're not concerned about wins and losses right now. We're concerned about getting better every day uh, and, and letting the chips fall. We're going to learn to compete rather than worry about winning and losing. Um, competing takes care of most of that. So, Well, um, what exactly would be your, your coaching philosophy, coaching style? Are you more of an up-tempo team, more of a half-court team? You know, you know, mix it up, you know, maybe depending yeah, on the situation. I've, I've talked about this with our players. We're going to do whatever fits them best. Uh, in the seven years that I uh, helped at center, we changed our, our system of play four times okay. based on personnel. Uh, we had an All-American point guard. We ran everything through her the last two years. We had an All-American post player. We went through high-low with her. We're going to take what this team does best. Uh, preferably, I would like to play a little faster. I would like to get up tempo. We'd like to pick up some in the full court, play more man, uh, multiple defenses, um, and just you know kind of keep people off, off rhythm. So uh, share the ball. Uh, take care of each other. Whoever's hot gets the ball. We're not going to play uh, uh, through one person. We're going to play through five uh, and use each of their strengths. We've been working really hard trying to find the things that each of these kids does well and, and put something in place that they can be successful. You talked about kind of mixing it up. Now with preseason finished, you know, you open Saturday in just a couple of days. What are maybe some strengths you've seen and maybe some areas that maybe we need to continue to improve on? Uh, Post-depth is really good. We might be as deep in the post as anybody in this league and, and I don't know who all brought freshmen in but we have six six-footers. Uh, we have who I think is the best post defender in our league and Kayla Sewell uh, who's also showing that she can, can score the ball and do some things on offense. Uh, but we are four deep there. We just got Casey back from volleyball. Casey Hassett, 6'3 junior. Uh, Haley McDonough has been very, has really pleased me in preseason. Uh, and Rebecca Faulkner, who's a freshman from Cannon County, has really shown that she can score. Uh, big, strong. Uh, I know at center last year we we had no six footers. We've got six on this roster. And it's a very imposing group, um, and they really complement each other well. There's not a one of them that's the same. Um, our guard play. We have some guards. We got to build some depth there. I think that's our issue. Finding out who our point guard's going to be. Uh, we're going to have to share that for a while. Um, and just kind of learn to play off of each other. I, that's my concern would be how deep are we at guard. We're getting better. We're working on who can fit what roles, uh, but we've got, to, we've got to get better at that spot. You, you open the Saturday at Westland, 4 o'clock um, away, and then you return home Tuesday at 6 against Covenant, and you've got a nice stretch of home mm -hmm. games there. Uh, just looking at the schedule, kind of, you know, this first part of the year before you get into the conference and then getting into conference play, what are some things that you would like to accomplish maybe in non-conference? So obviously, you mentioned, you know, it's, you know, obviously everyone wants to win games, but it's about being competitive and doing the right things right now and wins and losses, they'll take care of themselves. Yes. Um, but, you know, maybe are there certain games that stand out a little more or, or is this... No, yeah. I think right now we're just trying to play the first one. You know, our goal is going to be obviously we don't not going to talk about winning as much the overall record. We just want to be one and zero every night, and if we're not, we wake up the next day and we're zero and zero. So right now our focus is Wesley, and they're kind of in the same situation that we are. They have a new coach. Uh, I don't know anything about them. Uh, what they're going to do? She came from a community college in New York. I don't know their style. We're, we've worked as hard as we can to prepare for anything that we could see. 
we really don't know what's coming. So uh, that's kind of going to be a real challenge on Saturday with the new coach, a new system, not only with them but with us, and figuring out how to make all this work. Uh, we're just going to play the next one, do the best we can, not get too far ahead. Uh, we do have a, a real challenging uh, after uh, Thanksgiving. We go to Emory. We've got three more coming on the road. Covenant's a tough place to play. We've got to go to Virginia for a two-day trip. Um, that's going to be a really tough stretch. Um, but then right now we're just kind of focused on getting ready for Saturday and, and playing the best we can on Saturday. I guess the final thing would be um, once we get into conference season, uh, obviously Rhodes has been up top. Center's been up there as well. You've come from another conference school. Um, you know, Who do you think will be, again, kind of the top-tier teams in, in our league? Rhodes, uh, to me, and Millsaps are the best two teams. Millsaps has everybody back. Um, Rhodes still has Daniels, although they lost Lauren a man. They still have Daniels, the D1 transfer from Drake. Uh, they've got four starters back. Um, to me, those are the two that I would put at the cream of the crop. Rhodes is 21st in the country, most polls right now. After that, to be quite honest, I think it's really open. Um, Center, Barry, Hendricks will be better. Birmingham Southern, us, Oglethorpe. It, it's a, it could be anywhere from three to eight, if you ask me right now, where could we fall? Uh, and I think you can say that about a lot of people. Um, Barry's got a lot of talent, senior laden group. Center's got a lot of good guards. Hendricks brought in a nice class. It's going to be an interesting race. I think there's a lot more parity. I think our league will be better from bottom to top than it has been. Uh, there's going to be some nights where there's going to be some some teams win games and you go, wow, that, that, that was an upset or that was surprising. Or, um, I just don't think there's a, a, a bad team in our league this year. I think it's a lot of parity. And, and I guess one other question I did, did think of, if, if we talked again in the, at the end of February, at the end of the year, at that point, um, just looking at it now, in, in your opinion, what would make a successful season? Uh, getting us to learn what it takes to win at this level, day after day, drill after drill, play after play. Um, we, if we learn to do the little things along the way, learn to again take care of each other, be great teammates, um, to me, the wins will come. Um, I don't want to get into a number. I, I don't, we never talk about numbers or I've, I've, I've ever been. We just want to get better. We would prefer to overachieve, obviously, uh, but we're not going to say that this, this goal is to win X, half our games. What if we win half our games and we still got four left? I know one of the things, we have some drills in practice where we try to make a point total in X amount of minutes, and if we get there, we don't stop. We just get more. Uh, we're learning that if you're uh, you're down by 10, you try to get down by 8. And if you're down by 8, you try to get down by 6. And likewise, if you're leading by 4, you try to get up 6 and you try to get up 8. We're going to learn how to compete. We're going to learn how to, to win close games. I think that's really important for this group um, is learning how to win close games and learning how to win when you don't bring your best. Sometimes Thank you don't play well and, and you want to bring, you don't bring your best. you got to learn how to win when it's tough. Thank you, Tom. Uh, again, the Tigers open their season at 4 o'clock at Westland on Saturday. First home game is this coming Tuesday at 6 o'clock against Regional Rival Covenant. And as always, for more information on Swanee Athletics, you can visit SwaneeTigers.com or check us out on all our social media sites, Twitter, Facebook, and Flickr. Again, thanks, Tom, and good luck Saturday. Thank you. Come see us this winter.